good morning and welcome back to simply fishing my name is david most of y'all know that our channel is about pretty much everything outdoors even though it's labeled simply fishing it's a name we chose because we do most of our stuff is on fishing we're covering our lives and you come along with us just for our life journey and we just want you to have fun and enjoy the content we bring you one of the things as a kid i grew up enjoying and this was years ago i remember with my dad's when he used to come on saturday afternoons sunday afternoons nhra drag racing and big daddy don garlets that was back a long time ago if you know nhra at all you know big daddy don garlits he's been out of racing for a long time um john force was just been making his name when i quit watching that was years and years ago this past year this past just a couple weeks ago had the opportunity my brother-in-law called me he's like hey i can get us tickets to the gator nationals this year well let's go let's go have a good time we'll blast he's getting into drag racing his son enjoys it they're huge nascar race fans y'all i like nascar and monster trucks and all that stuff i'm, I'm a country boy i like all that stuff hadn't, hadn't really watched it much in a while figure let's go let's have a good time so we took off headed up to gainesville florida it's a couple hour drive from where we live just had a good time had a blast with it want to bring y'all along show y'all some of the footage and let y'all know like look i'm going to try and bring you more content like this if you like this contact content please just continue to watch our channel share us out to your friends click that like button subscribe leave some comments let us know what you want to see and we're going to try and bring it to you we're back in filming mode again feeling better feeling good getting ready to have some fun it's going to be a great spring come along for the ride and without further ado Here's some of our footage from Saturday at the Gator Nationals. Good afternoon. We are here today at the Gator Nationals. Came out here, gonna have some fun. It is a muddy, rainy weekend up here. It's the Saturday runs. It's a little after two. We're just getting ready to walk in. Finally made it into the parking lot. The parking lot, as you can see, is just a wonderful muddy mess. We got other trucks coming in. We ended up bringing my yellow beast today for the full drive. And you can see you're coming in good we're just helping some other people come up and here with gavin and carson and we're gonna go out here have some fun see what we can bring you come along for a ride made it in a gate waiting to cross the road headed to the pit area all right we just went through where the top fuel cars are now we're in the next lane over over here you got your Mopar tents, my Dodge, a lot of your vendors, horsepower headquarters, my Hot Rod Randy, Pet Boys. So we're just making our way towards the grandstands. As you can hear in the background, they've already started running some of the lower class cars. And we're just kind of making our way around, having some fun. We're gonna listen to the sounds, smell the smells. And if you've ever been to one of these before, you know what I mean when I say smell the smells. You got that fuel in the air. Exhaust is burning, tires are smoking. Down here having a good time, living life. The Mustang on the left side. 5.2 liters and a supercharger. Lenny Lager on the right. Let's see if you can figure out the balance of this car. What this blue machine was doing last week was it would hike the front end up about two feet, which is good attitude for one of these cars. And then it'd get out there about a hundred feet and just try to go up. Coming back. Oh, the Mustang!
welcome back to the section here. The cars have just got done. They're starting to pull them all down. We'll see what we can see. There's not many people right there. Okay. They're wrapping the shoot. I said everybody's standing right here. No one's standing right there. Yeah. Yeah. All right, these mechanics, these guys are absolutely amazing what they do in between runs. So we're going to take a look and see what we can bring y'all. And you got the guys out here in this first car. They're sitting here rolling the shoes up, trying to get the car ready, breaking everything down. You see they're pulling everything apart. Just to put this in perspective, the last engine I rebuilt took me about, I'm well, not counting waiting on parts. To tear one down to pull it apart is a good day. They're doing it in less than an hour. Working the team, no one's, I mean, barely talking. Everybody just knows how the job, knows what to do. And they just go at it and they pull this whole thing down, put it all back together. It's just from a mechanical point of view, it's amazing. Should be getting ready to bring in uh, Leah Pruitt's car. So we're standing right in front of her area. And we're gonna see if they can pull it in and watch them get started on that one. While they're working on that one, we're standing here at Matco just came in. And watching them do a little work on that one. So we're just watching them go through. They just did a second round of call outs. And while they were doing that, we came back here to the pits and just trying to bring y'all all the story and all the information, every part of this we can. And let y'all see what our day is like around here and so far. Still here, having a good time, and got some more racing to do. All right, here we come. There she is in the car. She hops out, guides them in.
stopped here where Brittany Force's car is. We've got these group of kids up front, I'll start chanting their names. So we're going to kind of hang out and see if she shows up. Because, I mean, I can resist all these kids calling your name out. Carson is pretty shy. We're gonna send him up in there trying to get her autograph, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> Guys, we Alright, so he's made it to the front now. Brittany's right here in front of us. We drove two hours to get here. We're hanging out. Racing at night. And have a good time. So they just came up and did the bikes. We're going to run some bikes for a little bit and get back to the top fuel. So we'll get some bike footage on here tonight. And it's all sass and attitude. I love the guy. So we just got an update. They announced order PA. After the bikes, they are done for the evening. The track temperature, because the outside air is dropping down. The track temperature is dropping too low for them to safely run the cars. So unfortunately, <coughs> there will be no more top fuel. Fortunately, as soon as they announce that, apparently there's not as many motorcycle fans as us because where did all your co-writers go? My favorite co-writer, Andrew Hines, is now my full-time crew chief. I'm very excited So we're going to hang that. out. We're going to finish so watching the bikes. The we're going to walk back through the garages trailer. again because wow. we're here. Traffic's clearing out. There's one road in, yeah, one road out. <laughs> No, we really no time frame will tell them, tell us we gotta leave, so, other, so we're gonna hang out, we're gonna have a little more fun, we're gonna bring you a few videos, what do you think here, videos. Man, wanted to get some racing at night, right but that ain't gonna happen well, this time, but we're still going, we're still having fun, it's been a great day, living it up, enjoying it, stay tuned, we're coming back. Yeah.